Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 14 of NAC TV. My name is Neil Malik, and this is Welcome to Excel 2013. So as I was just saying a second ago, uh, we're going to take a quick look at a new feature in Excel 2013 that's really fantastic called Flash Fill. And I'm intending this as sort of a warm up for my webinar next Thursday. If you happen to be watching this in the middle of August, it's next Thursday at lunch uh, on the Pacific time zone. And uh, that's going to be all about what's new in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook 2013. Some things that you might find very interesting about the new system. So we're going to specifically talk about Flash Fill, which is this really cool feature where we can fill in some uh, information based off of what we've done earlier in the spreadsheet. And it sounds an awful lot like Autofill, but I want to take a look at what Autofill can do and then later what Flash Fill can do to sort of show you where it's going to pick up uh, the slack. So when you talk about autofill, you're talking about something where if you click and drag down, you can repeat a number, or you can repeat a date, or you can repeat a function, things like that. So you might want to uh, type in today's date and then autofill down, and it would be tomorrow's date, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. Kind of a nice feature to have available to you. But the limiting factor there is that uh, whereas you can do that very easily for like dates and things like that, if you wanted to autofill something like uh, somebody's first name based off of their email address or um, all the days that are already listed in the dates over on the left hand side or something like that, you can't really do that using autofill. So I'm going to show you what you used to have to do in Excel 2010 and all the previous versions and then what you can do now in Excel 2013. So in Excel 2010, what you'd have to do is you'd have to, let's take a look at the date function here. And you can see I could type in equal sign month and then tell it to get the month out of the date that's over on the left. And it would say five and then I could autofill that down. Or equal sign day would be a nice function to use to be able to grab the day of the week, like the 12 right there, out of that date or equal sign year to be able to get the information out of the year function. There you go. And so I can autofill that down. Easy enough. Now it gets a little more complicated. Let's say I wanted to take John and then append a space and then append his middle initial and then append a space and then I want to append Robinson. You see it gets really long and complicated to be able to put somebody's full name together and then once you do that, you can autofill down. That's easy enough to do. And another problem is when you want to take somebody's first name out of something. There's this nice function called left where you can start from the left hand side of the text and you can go in a certain number of characters. So I'm going to say I want you to find the period in the email address and go in that many characters uh, and then minus one because you don't actually want to go all the way to the period. It gets really confusing, right? But you can actually get somebody's first name and the same way you can get their last name. You just have to use the mid function to be able to identify where the at symbol is, right? So find the at symbol and then also find the period and we're going to subtract those two from each other. Man, this is a long function, isn't it? And then subtract another one. And there you go. There's the name. <laughs> and then you can autofill that down. Wasn't that a lot more complicated than you wanted it to be? <laughs> Alright, well, so let's take a look at what Flash Fill can do in Excel 2013. You're going to be really excited. Now that you've seen exactly how much effort it took for me to get the last name out of that email address, take a look at what Flash Fill can do. So I'm going to, at this point, type in my, uh, my first name and then use the flash fill function and then phew, there it goes. It just goes ahead and says, oh, you want to find first names, I see. You could also use the keyboard shortcut control E. You see there I've typed in the last name, used control E 
and uh, it fills in. You can also do the same thing by simply typing in the day of the month, or the, excuse me, the number of the month, the number of the day, and the number of the year, and then using Control E, that keyboard shortcut, and it just sort of knows exactly what you're going to try to do. And then the really cool part is I type in John A. Robinson, I hit Control E, it autofills automatically all of the other names. Isn't that the most incredible thing? <laughs> it's like Excel pays attention to what you actually intend to do now, and it just goes ahead and fills in the rest for you. It's a really cool new feature, and there's a few different features in Excel 2013 and all the rest of the Office products that are going to be really very useful uh, when they finally come around uh, next year. So if you guys uh, are up for it, uh, go to knacktraining.com slash webinars and uh, sign up for next week's uh, seminar on what's new in Office 2013. That's it for now. Thank you very much. And remember, be amazing at what you do.